Temple Terrace. Hi, you're on the air, WPLP. Hi. Hi. Uh, I don't know quite how to say this, <laughs> but I'm equal with Jesus Christ, and that ain't good. Uh, Mr. Lasseter, I've seen God Almighty, and uh, at age six in Orlando, Florida, he appeared to me with the angel wisdom. I thought he was much older than six. Well, uh, at age six, I'm, I, I probably have the mentality of a 12-year-old like Christ. Mm. But uh, he appeared to me at age six in a dream and uh, said he would find my father, who was away at, uh, in World War II. And then on March 5th, 1978, I saw him in person with the angel wisdom. And I've seen Michael the Archangel. Where did that take place? Pardon? Where did that take place? In San Bernardino County, California. Uh-huh. Heaviest rainstorm of... Oh, that's where he bought you the uh, hamburger or something, right? A roast beef sandwich. Roast beef sandwich. And uh, I prophesied, yeah, like, was... in 1984, I wrote... You call this guy old faithfully calls once every two months. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, I, I prophesied 1984 to Governor Graham that uh, God would shut down uh, Cape Kennedy if the penal codes weren't put in junior and senior high school. And actually, it was shut down until 1988. And uh, that's... But what scares the heck out of me is that I have no salvation like Christ has no salvation because in Isaiah 44, 5, it tells about three false saviors that were to come along and test Israel, and I'm the third one. There's been miracles in my life, and I've prophesied, and they've come true. Mm -hmm. But somehow, God is going to put a spirit in me, evidently, that's going to make me think I'm a savior, like what happened to Christ uh -huh. and Muhammad, who taught Friday was the Sabbath, and all human beings have the same seventh-day Sabbath. Mm -hmm. But what should I do? I have no salvation. I, I won't be resurrected because I've seen the face of God. Uh, I'm just marking time, sleeping, eating, smoking, sleeping, eating, smoking. Nobody will hire me because I'm... Are you a just a winter time. visitor or, you, or do you live here year-round? Uh, I was born in Orlando. I have family in Tampa. No, and you're not a winter I've visitor. lived in California most of my life. Mm -hmm. In other words, take off for California. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, just, just curious as to whether or not you were just a winter visitor or... Uh, no, I've been here a couple of years. Resident. I've been here since 1984. Lucky us. I had dreams to come here, so I came. And, uh, a spirit gave me uh, the restricted national security hotline in the White House, and I freaked out their red button. I called so many times that when they tested the system, they thought I was calling, and they gave an improper response. Uh, they talk about me in the White House. I can even call collect once in a while. <laughs> Well, what should I do, Bob? But I'll tell you this. You you have the number for the hotline? In the White House, yes. Oh, my goodness. And uh, it was spoken into my ear, and then they changed all the numbers, and God gave me all the new numbers. Now they, I guess they've quit trying to change the numbers around, and uh, they just kind of put up with me. Well, hey, you know, I mean, harmless. If, if I was dealing with a crank caller like you, and God kept giving me my new number, I, I, I'd give up trying to change them, too. <laughs> But I don't know what to do. After the last time you called here, we considered changing the numbers. <laughs> you can't get away. No. You can't get away from it. Well, listen, I just wanted to share my grief that I'm equal with Christ because... Oh, you shared your grief. And uh, I wish you well. I have more respect for God than you do, though, because I like his... Uh, well, hell, he buys children. you sandwiches. He hasn't, you know, if he came down and bought me a sandwich, perhaps I'd mend my ways. Yeah, but then that means you wouldn't be resurrected. Because if you see the face of God, you die. Well, I close my eyes. <laughs> and you, see, you just want a roast beef sandwich free. That's right. Maybe I'll send you one. Well, it wouldn't be quite the same. No, it wouldn't. But I've seen his face, the one who created everything. Son of a gun. But I have no salvation, Mr. Lassiter. Yeah, but you got the number to the hotline. Yeah, that's fine. That kind of keeps my life going. And some great memories of that time yeah, that you and funny. God had lunch. Would you like to put out the number to uh, nah. the Oval Office? No, nah, I, I don't think I'd want to do that. Okay. No, I got enough trouble. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.